Hello folks, and welcome back. So yeah, we are about to make our way through all the way to the rust wells to get the copper wire. So yeah, let's let's start our journey. I'm not really all that sure where to take this character, if I'm honest with you. Because like for now it's working out quite well, quite alright. We can do the stuff, we can kill things, it kind of works. The problem kind of is that I'm not really sure what we're going to do, uh, where to take this character, as I said. Because, um, oops, let's see, yeah, except then get more strength, get better gear, you know, this stuff. So uh, we're definitely going to try to max out the cudgel tree. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. The thing is that the only thing that we can do, really, is to bash things in melee. And that's not, like, not very... I mean, that's okay. If we get really good at bashing things in melee, we are actually alright. The thing is, I don't really know how far we can actually take this. So, uh... You know, when you run into the goat folk in the jungle and so on, and the, and all that stuff. I don't know in how far we're going to be able to hold our own over there. So we definitely need better equipment, that is sure. You know? We kind of need the best stuff that we can get. We need good armor, we need, um... We need good armor, we need, we need way better weapons because we, or... Oh, a way better weapon, we're only using one after all, but, um, yeah. But, apart from that, I don't really know. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go and uh, do the stuff. And, uh, yeah, maybe we're gonna get there, I don't know. But that said, um, yeah, this has been kind of fun. I think we can, we can also uh, then try variations on this character, like um, on, on like a melee tank brawler. There's some good stuff that you can do with mutated humans. For example, there is a, uh, a mutation that's called Carapace, or Carapace that um, gives you natural armor, then you can't wear armor, but uh, you can basically, by increasing that mutation, you basically increase your armor class over time, and uh, you can get a pretty damn good natural armor that way. I'm, I'm not sure how this will work out in the end game, if the armor that you can get with... Uh, with with items is actually much better. I don't actually know, but um, yeah, that would also be an interesting thing to try out, just um, to get as tanky as possible using, for example, mutations, as well as other stuff. So what do we have here? Okay. So there are things that we can do. We can also try out the other weapon stuff, you know? Like there are, and there's also stuff like long swords, for example, that we could check out. And we have Equimaxes here. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of scared trying to, trying to fight them. Well, we could try that, but eh, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Oh dear. I think we probably need to fight our way through. Yeah, we take too much damage. Um, this might actually be a bad idea. So let's not do that. Also, I don't want to get myself murdered by... Oh, I didn't want my all my weapons to rust. That's basically it. So we're going to try to steer clear of those um, kudzus. Because, uh, yeah. For some reason, the dogs are actually hostile to us. That doesn't did not happen with the other characters that I played, which is kind of interesting. At least the Equimaxes are kind of helping us here. All right, okay. 
Oh, I hope we get past these Kutu area soon. They are annoying. Hey, you. Tortoise. Let's just bash that thing in. Alright. There's another one. Hey, you go over here. Yes. Away from the kudzus. Alright. On the upside, we actually have a decent amount of health by now. So, um, that's okay. In general, I don't know. We're gonna see. Let's get that. I mean, the really great thing about a strength-based character is, uh, all the stuff that you can carry. You can carry around so much. It's so good. Like, we have 173. We would be almost full with the other character that we've played. But right now, we can carry at least... Yeah, there's only just a third of what we can carry. Also, I'm not gonna make a 420 joke here. You're not gonna get that from me. Alright, so let's see... Yeah, yeah Equimaxes. Uh, I'm tempted, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do that. Because, yeah, I don't know. This is too risky. Too risky. Because we can only do melee damage. And, uh, yeah. We're not gonna dodge everything. And the melee damage we do, I think we will probably be able to withstand a bit of punishment from them. But we actually, we don't do enough damage to them. And I think that would be the main problem here. So, yeah. So we're gonna leave these guys alone for now. Which is a pity, but um, because there's a lot of them. Man, you could really, if we were the rejoinder type, we could really make some experience here. Jesus Christ. Okay, oh yeah, there's a, okay, good. There's a little encampment. Um, that's good, because there are often chests in there, and sometimes you can find some good stuff. Let's see. Another chain mail. What do we have right now? We have reinforced forced leather armor, which is better. So we're going to keep that. So let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, there are chests. Hopefully we can find something good here. Also, they are bugged again. They don't do anything. Huh. That has not been fixed yet. Let's get that beaded bracelet as well. What do we have? We have a carbide dagger. Let's get that. We can sell it. Um, freeze ray. What is that? What is a freeze ray? Coat to the touch. It's a rifle. That uses... That's cool. Let's get that. Um, what kind of buckler do we actually have? Let's see. Da, 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 da. We have a wooden buckler. How about... How about we get, we get the iron buckler? And equip that. So, there we go. Alright, at least that is already some carbide stuff. Um, yeah, bad joke here, lead slugs. We can also... Oh yeah, we have the semi-automatic pistol equipped right now. We are, I think we already had a bunch of chem cells, right? We did. So we can actually make use of that rifle quite well. Freeze ray, yes. Equip. The thing is, well, our agility is not all that great. Let's see. What's our agility at? It's 19 plus 1. So we, we might actually be able to use some of that. Um, yeah, well, let's see. A bronze ingot. Weighty ingot of bronze. Interesting. I've never found one of those before. You never know if stuff is new or if you haven't just never found. Just never found it. Um... So, I guess the freeze ray, it doesn't do a lot of damage. 
but it will probably freeze enemies. I mean, that could be good. I'm gonna try to have a look at that. Let's freeze that guy. Well, that's actually kind of alright. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will, I will make use of that. So, it's not about the damage that we can do with that. Um, I think we're kind of alright at hitting things. For now. We can shoot at things and actually hit them. Because, um, yeah, we have actually a decent agility. It's not great, but it's decent. So, um, yeah, maybe we can actually do some stuff here. There are just two Equimaxes on that map. You know what, I'm just gonna try it. Let's see. We can freeze them. Maybe then kill them. Badly wounded. That works. That actually works. The thing is we probably will not be able to with... Oh dear. Oh Christ. <laughs> that did not work. That froze everything but the Equimax. Um, yeah, we probably won't be able to kill multiple Aquamaxes, but that works. Okay. The thing is, it actually uses up the the chem cell, of course. Let's kill that thing. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What does... Oh, I'm stunned. Oh dear, I'm stunned and I'm probably gonna die. Freeze that thing. And uh, let's go away for now. Are you coming, Aquimax? No, it isn't. Oh yeah, it is. Freeze it, kill it. Okay. And oh yeah, it actually that thing uses up uses up the cam cells. Oh, and for some reason the the key mapping is not working anymore. One minute. Let's see. Um, where was it? Rest until healed. There we go. Yes, I like to have that on that key. Okay. So for some reason it sees something hostile. Don't know what the hostile thing is. Okay, now it works. Yeah. Yeah, so we can't actually... So, the freeze ray is good for special situations, but we can't rely on it. Because, um, yeah, it just chews through the chem cell. And, uh, but we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep that thing. Haunt Chameleon. So, let's remove that for now and use the pistol again. And yeah, as you have seen, um, Acromaxes can be dangerous to us, so we have to be really careful about them. If we can, if we can catch one or two of them unaware, we might be able to murder them. But uh, we still have to be careful, because already two of them actually became dangerous to us. All right, so yeah, tortoises. Okay. A bunch of stuff, yeah. Let's get that stuff. Okay, there is... That seems to be a caravan. Okay. Let's see what the, these guys have. I think we're doing kind of alright with... Um, oh, there's that. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here that we can actually use. We're doing quite all right with money right now because we have a bunch of oh fuller right dagger hmm carbide folding hammer that's a cudgel isn't it uh, let's yeah I think it is it 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 must be eleven penetration one d six so what do we have yeah. 1d5, 1d4. That thing would actually be alright. I mean, we have all these... We have all this stuff here. We could get rid of a bunch of it. We 
let's see how far we can go with that. Yeah, it's still really expensive, but uh, we would be able to get it, actually. We would. Oh, and there's a floating glow sphere. That's really, of course, really expensive and really, really good. Won't be able to... Oh yeah, and the wine. Let's get rid of the wine. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to do it. Doesn't matter. We will find more trade goods and so on. So that's that. Can you get rid of something else? The wooden buckler. Oh, the freeze ray is actually... <laughs> now we can get rid of the carbide dagger. Yeah, we lose a bunch of stuff. But, um, I don't know. Why not, you know? I, know, I don't know how long we are going to survive, but at least that thing is good. So, uh, yeah. And we're going to get some money again. We're going to lose a bunch of water out of that, but, uh, oh well. Yeah, I think we're going to do alright. We're going to do alright. We're going to find more stuff that we can sell and so on, so, yeah. Doesn't really matter. Let's use that thing. Let's take a look at it. Ball peen hammer used to forge carbide. Yes. Uh, strength bonus cap five. So um, yeah, that's I think the mo the best thing about those is that the bonus cap goes up a lot. All right. Good. Thank you for that. Now we're not carrying around a lot of stuff anymore. Does, did they remove the weight from the trade goods? Because we still have 177. Huh. That's interesting. That would be really cool, actually, if they did that. That would be... Remo that would remove a bunch of worries that we had, la had last time. Hmm. Well, let's see how this works now. It's cost us a lot of money, but it's okay. Just need to make sure that we don't run out of water, but uh, I think we will be all right. And we can sell a bunch of those long swords and so on. Just pick some up, some of those up. Get a bit of stuff out of that. Okay. Hey, fucker. Where are you? Kill that guy. Just because. He has a steel longsword. Let's pick that up. Are you attacking me? Why are you attacking me? Leech. Okay, so apparently those guys like the hermits. Yep. Attacking the hermits, the skunks are not happy. Interesting. I don't know what the uh, the relationship there is, but uh, well, if they want, how much experience do we get from those? Mm. Oh yeah, that was a in the comments. Yeah, that gets you plus one ego, so that's actually better than the cap. Thank you to... I don't remember your name, but uh, thank you. It was a comment, actually, that uh, might actually be a good idea to equip the Norworm Skull over the leather cap, because it gives you a plus one to Ego, which is alright. We could... We should have... Where the fuck am I even? Oh, I'm over here. Okay. That was a novice of the sideless way. An ape fur cloak. Let's get that. Those things are often expensive, so... Steel arrow... Okay. Well, that's something. There are more of these guys over here, so maybe they have some interesting stuff as well. Yeah, now we actually do more damage. That's that's kind of good. Leech corpse, dog corpse, leather boots. 
Oh, there's a bit of bracelet again. See, we're doing all right. The thing is, when you go to the rust wells, you're always fighting a lot of um, Equimaxes and so on. So, uh, not Equimaxes, snap jaws. Jesus Christ. Um, so that mostly means that you do all right with stuff. You find again beaded bracelets and all this nonsense. What are you? A bloated leech. They are all right with us, but the normal leeches are not. So for now, we're just going to murder everything. On our way to good equipment, I guess. Copper nugget, see? There you go. Oops, these guys are fighting each other. Bloated thing again. Disgusting. Bloated leeches. That's not a combination of words you want to hear. Okay. Apes. Tortoises. Lots of stuff all around here. Okay. The hermits actually help murdering those things. You only get one XP from one of them, so it's not really worth much killing them. But, well, they are annoying, so... Okay. Um... Other than that... Oh... Fuck. Okay. There are some ruins here. Yeah, we have to be careful about. Those guys have... That's a Chichinus Puma. It's injured. And we are very injured. So, how about... <laughs> we fall back on the freeze ray again. And freeze that thing. And murder it. And we gain the level. Okay. For now we need to rest for a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, right. This. We still need one more strength. That's the thing. So we're gonna keep that for now. There's some nonsense going on over there. So we have to be careful about that. And there's a lot of fresh water. Hey, that's good. Slate frock, white brimmed hat. Hmm, well, that would be... We would have a field day with, an, with our agility character here. Apparently the, the hermit actually murdered that guy, even though he had he had an all right um, all right equipment. There was a dude down there. Oh, there's another caravan. Hey you. So what do you have? Very expensive artifact. Hmm. Yeah, you can see you can sell those for a bunch of money. So let's do that. Keep the warhammers for now, just in case. Sell the long swords. We have. He does not have good stuff, really. Nah. Nope. But as you have seen, the Chitinus Puma was already kind of, uh, kind of dangerous to us. So yeah. Yeah. That's not, that's not where I want to be, I must say. What, is, what the fuck is that? Spike gauntlets. Okay, all right. I don't even know where I am right now. I think we're gonna have to go up to the map in a, in a short while. Well, then I kind of want to take a look at um, if there's anything in those ruins over there. I mean, oftentimes there are things like chests and so on, but that wasn't really the case here. Hmm. No, there's nothing. Maybe north? No. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> like that weird artifact. It's a compass bracelet. And a self-injector. Oh, well, that was actually worth it. We can have the compass bracelet 
on our right arm. How about that? Good. Hmm, there's some I'll left just an empty water skin. I think we don't know, need those. Let's continue. Okay, there's some nonsense going on over there. I don't know what that was. I think that might be some mental mutation stuff. But uh, so someone is equipped with a lot of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's keep our wits about us here. Having the amount of health that we have is kind of alright. We can withstand a lot of garbage like this here. And well, there's just a lot of nonsense that is attacking us at the same time. Okay. Alright. So, um, we have not come near Red Rock in this video. But um, we found a bunch of good stuff, so I'm kind of alright with that. Let's get this, let's get this. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.